the Lottie Loves Paper September Kit Part 2 and in Part 1 I went through the embellishment kit and the paper and embellishment add-ons and now I'm going to do some mixed media matching so I'm going to use my swatch book that I am showing you here that I put together this book to help me keep track of the colours of the different products that I had. I found myself buying duplicates because I kept forgetting and it also helps to match colours to papers when I'm looking at using mixed media products on my layouts. So I've got my swatch book and I've been through and matched some products to the papers that are in this month's kit. What I've done is I've matched two sets so I've matched some deeper darker colours to the Vicky Bouton range and then I've chosen some slightly paler fresher colours with the Pretty Little Studio Savannah Dreams range but they all work together in my opinion they still all work together so I could mix and match the sets that I've chosen and use either um, of the colour sets with either of the papers. So I've started with Distress Inks and my first set of three inks to pick out the darker tones of the Vicky Bouton papers are their Distress Oxides. So are their Faded Jeans, Fossilised Amber and Worn Lipstick and that's picking out those blues and the mustardy colour and the pinks from those papers. And then I've gone for fresher, brighter, paler colours even for the Pretty Little Studios papers. And they are Spun Sugar, Twisted Citron and Tumbled Glass. But you can see there that with those, those colours all placed together, they all work together. And the, the paler colours still work with the Vicky Bouton papers. Um, and just going through showing the Savannah Dreams papers that work with both sets of colours. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for my layout with this kit yet, but by starting to pull together the mixed media products that work, I've got a really good starting point to then create my pages. And of course, we've got those beautiful stencils in the um, embellishment kit so um, they're just perfect to use um, with these products. So here I've got um, some spray inks. So the first set of three I've got Dilusions Pure Sunshine, Dilusions Dirty Martini is the green and then a Heidi Swap Raspberry because I didn't have a Dilusions that um, was I wanted a pinky tone um, and I didn't have a Dilutions one it was too bright bubblegum pink so went for the raspberry from Heidi Swap and then some slightly paler shades I've gone for Heidi Swap pink teal and butter and I think I hold them up the ends there you can see the colours beautifully there <clears throat> and again coordinating with those paper ranges really well. I love that watercolour effect paper in the 6x6 and again that, the, that works with the darker colours as well. So they're the ink sprays that I've chosen. And now I chose some gelatos, starting off with these bright, bold primary colours in green tea, red cherry and blueberry. Again, picking out those bold colours from the Vicky Bouton papers. And then fresher colours 
for our, for the Pretty Little Studios papers, Margarita Mix, Snow Cone and Watermelon. Again, working well with both sets of colours. So they're the gelatos. And finally, I picked out some Nouveau Drops, which have to be one of my favourite products ever. Changed my mind about the green at the last minute there. And I have picked out Autumn Red, English Mustard and Bottle Green. And then the paler shades to go with the Savannah Dreams. I've gone for Sea Breeze, which is one of the Nouveau drops that they dry translucent. And Dandelion Yellow and Carnation Pink. So they're the mixed media products that I've chosen that coordinate with my papers. I hope they find that helpful. Please leave me a comment if there's anything else that you would find helpful um, to look at with the embellishment kits. And I hope to see you here very soon to show you the layouts that I create with all these lovely goodies. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.